The time has come. This is the brand new M4 Mac Mini. I want to get it out of this box and take a look at it and um, see what we're working with here. One tab, two tab, and there, there it is. Ta da! And it is, it is like half, not even half the size of the box. Uh, okay, so we get that in the box, we get this in the box, we get some materials of information in the box. And that is all that's in the box. Slip this guy out, put this I am there. And here. Like so. This is a braided cable, which is nice. Uh, the previous Mac Mini cables were not braided. So, nice touch. Nice touch. And now, for the... Uh, Machine itself. Da -da 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 this is all paper, no plastic. Put you over here. And there you have it. Mag Mini M4. This is the base one. <laughs> the end, which has the M4 chip with 10. Uh, 10 CPU cores and 10 GPU cores. It has a headphone jack on the front. It has two USB-C ports here. On the back here, we've got power, Ethernet, 1 gig Ethernet, but it can be had with 10 gig if you want to do a special order. HDMI 2.1 and three Thunderbolt 3 ports. Now, I have bemoaned the lack of a USB-A port or two here and told that I'm an old man who needs to shut up or buy an adapter. But the truth of the matter is I have lots and lots and lots of USB-A devices. And um, I guess I'll just have to live that dongle life. I was going to have to anyway, but, you know. I need to complain about something. On the bottom, the much complained about power button. Uh, otherwise, it's it's heavy. It feels pretty heavy, honestly. Like the previous Mac Mini didn't really feel all that heavy. I mean, it was mostly air. Once they put the M series chips inside the previous Mac Minis, uh, they were just air inside with a very small motherboard and power supply and stuff like that this is this has some heft to it one of the things that i don't like is they have this little gasket here that is i guess to protect the bottom from scratching but it does not keep the thing from moving which is a bummer uh because when you're plugging things in and out and you're like doing this it's just i don't like it i don't like it uh as for the rest, with the Mac Minis prior to this, the uh, body continued all the way around, and then was this was plastic, so you all the antenna stuff for the Wi-Fi and everything else came through this. But now the bottom is just the three sides, and then this is a plastic piece, which means. This thing is will probably be uh, nearly untake apartable. You can't. I don't think. You, like maybe I don't know. They they clearly don't want you to take it apart. I'm sure somebody will. And there are no user serviceable parts in here. No things that you can add to it after the after the fact or any of that kind of stuff. So so this is it. Uh, just an interesting change there. And then honestly, like. 
Okay, so you can't like you tilt it and turn it on. The power button used to be like flush here. It was impossible to to feel anyway, so this is not a problem otherwise. The M4 chip is benchmarking incredibly well compared to other M series chips. Uh, I don't have a Pro or a Max uh, version of it to compare to, but the reason that I bought the base model of this is I always have a computer set up here at this station where I do this. And right now I've been trying to use my PC um, and I spent... It's the same thing. It's always the same thing. I Everything's set up correctly. I spend a lot of time making it look good and all that kind of stuff. And, then, and I, of course, will put this through its paces. Who is this for? Um, this is 256 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigabytes of memory or integrated memory or RAM or whatever you want to call it these days. Um, 256 gigabytes is not a lot. And that's going to be a problem for some people since this is a secondary station for me. I, I'm going to plug a, a Samsung T7 into it and use that to record all my stuff. And then I can move that over to that station where I have a Mac Studio right now. And I can then do all the editing there. Or I could do editing right here if I wanted to. That's, that's the beauty of having this. And now that it's smaller, it's, it's not going to take up any desk space. I'm sure that there will be aftermarket under desk uh, things that you can put it in if you want to. I did that with my other, my M1 Mac mini, uh, so that cleared the desk up almost entirely. But now, now that it's this small, and uh, like, what can I show you? This is an iPad mini. And this is, <laughs> this is the Mac mini. Here's my iPhone. No, iPhone 16 Pro Max is is uh, it's the same the same length this way. So it's this is very small. So I'm going to put this through its paces, put it, uh, install it here on this station, and I'll let you know what I think. I'll let you know if this is a thing that would be good for creators who need a secondary computer or just need a cheap computer because that's where you are in life. There's no shame in that. And other people who want to have a Mac on the cheap. This is the Mac on the cheap to have if you need a Mac on the cheap. So until the next time, I'm out.